Hi guys. Uh, my name is Sherry and welcome to the Art Eyes Have It. If you haven't been here for Bark Box before, then you're not acquainted with my dog Missy who is a psychopath when it comes to the Bark Box. Okay, so we stopped. We were just out for a bike ride, which is why I'm all sweaty. And we stopped at the mailbox, and what was there but the bark box. Okay, so. Yes, miss, I'm trying. Missy, you're going to hurt me. All right. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking, Missy. All right, looks like, oh, that's cute. You're going to hurt me. Now stop it. Okay. So this is the first toy. It is a bewitching broomstick. And it probably squeaks. Alright. So. This is Ghouls, Gobblers, Duck and Pumpkin Dog Treats. And let me see if I can figure out. Duck combined with pumpkin create the perfect combination for an autumnal snack. All right, and this is by Chloe and Cupcake, I think. Chloe and Cupcake. Yeah, I know you want to try a treat. Well, you got to get down and be nice. Okay. Ooh, fragrant. Now see here again. We go into these bigger treats. But at least they're breakable. They're little duckies. Oh. Here, come up here. Can you come up here? There you go. One more. Okay, go play with your toy. Go play with your toy. Go play with your toy. Oh, Lordy Lou. Well, as for my surgery, I just found out that my mother's coming a day earlier than I thought, which means that I'm going to have to accomplish a lot more in four, in four days when I thought I had five days. And on top of that, I have so many doctor appointments and stuff. Okay, this is Play-Doh Pet Treats, and I know the Play-Doh brand. It's a good brand. Small Bite Salmon Recipe. Now we're on it. And this looks like little tiny bites. Okay, 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 over here, good, want one more, over here, good, that's all for right now, okay, that's all for right now, I think she's really going to like those, now, let's see what else we got, Whoa. oh wow, ow, okay honey, Jesus, <laughs> This is uh, Rest in Pieces Tombstone, and it's got two, four, six, six squeakies in the grave, and then the, and then the gravestone is hanging on there. Okay. Now, I dropped the other thing, the fifth thing, so I'm going to have to go down here and get it. Okay. If you've not, if you're not familiar with do, uh, Bark Box, you usually get two toys, two treats, and some sort of chewy. And that can be a lamb ear, a pig's ear, all kinds of stuff. So this time it's a much smaller thing, which I like, because I've been giving away a lot of the real big ones to my neighbors who have a Border Collie puppy, and he's a real big chewer. Okay, this is called Dog for Dog Dogs Bar. All natural, gluten-free snack for dogs. With every purchase, we give an equal amount of food to dogs in need. Very nice. This is peanut butter. So there it is, and then it says this is peanut butter flavor. So I think she'll probably really like that. 
And usually these treats are all made in U.S. Let me see if I can find. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Hurt United, Santa Monica, California. Doesn't specifically say made in America, but it nearly always is. Uh, first ingredient, organic rice syrup. Oats, molasses, crisp rice, flax seeds, peanut butter, sunflower seeds. So it's pretty much like a human um, protein bar. So I think she'll like that. They'll have to be broken really down into pieces. Okay. Yep, these boxes go so fast because she is literally, I mean, I probably have bruises right now. No, there's no more. I probably have bruises in claw marks right now because she clawed me a couple times really hard right through my shirt, and it hurts. But anyhow, I survived. One of the few times you've seen me with makeup in a long time. I've sweated it all off now, but I did have... Uh, I didn't have um, crease color, uh, eyebrow highlight or anything, but I had, I had a whole lid color, and then I had a little bit of outer V. I had blush and... Uh, lips on but yeah I, we just came back from a ride and um, it is so hot here so right after we got out our winter coats and started wearing long pants and winter coats to ride the bike and walk the dog now we're back to uh, shorts and tank tops for another couple days I think it's supposed to be 80 here tomorrow Whew. of course I'd already put away all the summer clothes doesn't that figure Anyhow, okay, so um, I think I just said mom is coming Friday, which means in four days, Friday, and then um, my surgery is Wednesday, and then she'll be leaving, not that next Saturday, but the Saturday after that, or the Friday after that. So, yeah, and I've got um, two neighbors of a couple, uh, Missy's best friends parents who are going to take care of Miss Moo for a little bit, probably about a week to 10 days, because um, one thing I didn't realize, uh, and this is all for bacterial reasons, you know, healthiness, cleanliness reasons, is that I'm not allowed to sleep with my dog for a while after surgery, and I think I have to have surgeon approval before I can sleep with my dog, so uh, if these neighbors... Uh, you know, can't keep her any more than seven to ten days that I may have to uh, put her in. Uh, I may have to board her for a couple more days because I think my uh, post-op appointment is two weeks from the day of surgery. So, all right, that's all the news that's fit to print over here. I have had, I have been so blessed. I am not a person who easily asks for help. Trust me on this. Never have been. But I've had to ask for help because I get exhausted uh, too, you know, so fast or I get to be in so much pain so fast that I can't do as much as I want to do. So I've had three friends over here plus my little sis helping me, you know, finish out the stuff that I had already started and, and take care of some stuff that I hadn't got started. So we are in really good shape. Cleaners are coming Thursday morning. So I think we're in really good shape and I just... I'm so blessed by their friendship and their help. It's amazing. So thank you. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Be well. And always be yourself. See you soon, I hope.